All right, boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about overlapping triangles. How to prove overlapping triangles congruent. Overlapping triangles may have a common side or an angle. You can simplify your work with overlapping triangles by separating and redrawing the triangles. So let's try that out in an example. <clears throat> so the first example is asking us, what common angle do triangle ACD and triangle ECB share? So let's take a look at a good technique to do this. First thing we could do is outline the triangle and separate them. So here we have triangle ACD. So let's pull that out and separate it. So this is A. C, D, and then we have triangle E, C, B, E, C, B. And we're going to group these and separate it. Obviously on your paper, you're going to have to do is either trace it or draw a sketch of it. So here's B, C, E. Okay, so the question is asking us what common angle do triangle ACD and triangle ECB share? The reason this is asking us this is because of the fact that when we have overlapping triangles, they may have a common side or an angle. This is pretty common when we have overlapping triangles, although not always the case. As we can see over here, angle C is shared by both triangles. So here's angle C in triangle ACD, and angle the same exact angle C in triangle ECB. All right, so let's move on. Let's take a look at an example of proving these kind of triangles congruent. All right, so our first example here we have two triangles we need to prove congruent. Triangle DAB and triangle CBA. So triangle DAB is right here. And triangle CBA is right here. As we can see, they are overlapping. We imme immediately see that they are sharing a side, AB. So first step, let's separate these triangles. We have DAB. Let's put that over here and CBA. Let's put that right over here. Alright, now let's start a proof. The very first thing we could write is what do they share in common? They both have AB in common. So let's write that in the proof. Statement 1. AB is congruent to AB by the reflexive property. So far, we have a side congruent to a side. Now let's go to the givens. Statement 2, AD is congruent to BC. And this is a given. Let's mark this in every single part of the diagram that we have. So AD congruent to BC. AD congruent to BC. And the last given that we have is DB congruent to CA. And the reason is given. Again, let's mark that in all three diagrams. We have DB and CA. All right. It is clear from the separated triangles why these triangles are congruent. It may be a little confusing looking at these overlapping triangles, which is why separating the triangles and drawing a sketch of each may be helpful. So, we have triangle DAB is congruent to triangle CBA by side, 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 congruent to side, side, side. As we see, we have side DA congruent to CB, AB congruent to AB because those are shared, and DB congruent to AC because that is given. 
Now, a common mistake here would be that students say that angle A is congruent to angle A. Although you can see that the angle A here, so let's put a little highlight here, this angle A is not the same as this angle A. Because as we see, this angle A here is the whole thing. The angle A over here is just this little part. So be careful of those Carroll's mistakes. All right, let's look at another example. So we have here given AB is congruent to BC, DB is congruent to CA. We have to prove that triangle DAB, oh shoot, this is wrong. 